five videos that you will not see on my channel. We're going to get into why I don't want to do them, why you can't make me do them, and why I don't watch them either. Let's do it right now. Hey there, girlfriends. I'm so glad that you're with me today. We are going to talk all about videos that I don't do on my channel, but first let's talk about what I have on for a top. And it is a color block sweater that has the three different colors on it. This comes in a bunch of different color block colors. I really like this red. However, I'm going to, I think, get the one that has the pink on it, it has some pink with the gray that I think is just adorable. I think I'm gonna get that one too. This is a medium weight sweater. It is a tunic length. I just love everything about it. I love the sleeves on it, that it has the detail of the stripes, but I also love that it doesn't have stripes around your middle. So you put your stripes right up here around your chest and your chest looks bigger. And then a solid black of color all the way down. And then your waist or your tummy, if you have menopause tummy like I do, doesn't look so big so gotta love that and then I'm also wearing a necklace which I love and it is my initial necklace and it has a little heart here on the side really like that and then I'm just wearing some hoop earrings that come in all different sizes and they also come in gold and rose gold and it doesn't matter whether you pick the smallest one or the biggest ones they're super light because they are hollow so they never tug on my ears and I have them I think I have them in gold and rose gold too because they're just they're so cute and they're so fun and very easy to throw on with anything okay so we're going to do a little countdown here of what you're not going to see on my channel now let me just say before we get started if you love these videos I'm glad you do this is kind of a light-hearted thing um, in some ways, it's really important to me that I share with you what I don't like because I know that there are certain things that you're expecting to see from me as a beauty guru on YouTube, but there's certain videos that I don't like watching. So I'm not gonna make them because they don't bring me joy to make. And I think that comes across to you as my viewer, whether or not you enjoy seeing me do something because when I get excited about something, then I can get you excited about it as well. So let's just talk a little bit about what you won't see on my channel. Usually we talk about all the things you see on my channel, right? Okay, the number five video that you're not gonna see on my channel is a declutter anymore. Now I used to do declutters all the time. However, they are so time consuming for me and they're really hard to get through because I test a ton of makeup. So I always have a huge box in my closet that I'm putting makeup into that I don't like. Now that's not to say you're not gonna see the worst products from me or you won't see a product in that box that I have already talked about at another time in another video. I might try it one on and honestly on the spot, I'm gonna tell you, I can tell I don't like this and it gets decluttered for me. Um, I keep I a lot of makeup of my makeup because I wanna do comparisons for you. So I may not like a palette at all or I may not like a foundation at all, but I know that it's super popular and I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna hold on to it so that later on down the road, I can go, okay, this can be a dupe for you. Case in point. These three palettes right here from Charlotte Tilbury, I bought all three of these because when you very first get these, they look absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is the Pillow Talk one and it's the quad. And I think this is the one that came out this year. And you know, I don't mind the highlighter in here on these, but I'm not a fan of the blushes. It's pretty stiff formula. And I feel like there's such better formulas out there, but I do know that people go gaga over Charlotte Tilbury and they go gaga over her pillow talk. And so I'm gonna keep this in order to be able to dupe it out for you sometime or compare it at another time. So bottom line for me to go through a declutter video, I would have to explain to you why I'm keeping something that I don't like, but maybe why I'm getting rid of something that I. I do like and it's being discontinued or it has been discontinued I don't show that to you on air and I'm trying makeup so much that to keep something that's been discontinued that I'm not head over heels about I liked it but I'm not head over heels about it just is counterintuitive to what my job is which is bringing the very best to you and showing you the very best so that you know what's on the market and whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned money on it number four this one is really hard because I'm still on the fence about it and I'm going to be doing a makeup organization video for you on how I organize my makeup. But this one is the makeup collection video. And I don't want to do a makeup collection video because, okay, this is inventory to me. 
All of my makeup is inventory to me. And although it is my passion and I absolutely love it, if I was not a YouTuber that did beauty reviews, I would never in a million years have such a massive collection because I know that I would never be able to get through it. And for me to show you my collection, although you know I do have a lot of people ask me that, for me to show you my collection to me, in a lot of ways feels like I'm just showing off. And I don't wanna do that. We're living in an age right now where it's hard for people to make ends meet. And it's hard to decide whether or not you wanna go out and buy that blush or whether or not you wanna save your money because you don't know what's gonna happen. So for me to show my collection, it's not something that I enjoy because I don't wanna brag about anything. And truly, I don't feel like I'm bragging, but it might come off like that and I would hate for anybody to feel bad. So makeup collection video is not something you're gonna see. All right, the next one is one that I used to do all the time as well. This is the beauty empties video. Nine times out of 10, what I was saving is things that I don't even talk about on my channel. I was saving things like my shampoo or my body wash, or those are the things that you go through really quickly, right? I don't really want to spend a lot of time showing you the things that I used up just because it was mediocre. I wanna show you the best of the best that is worth the price. They don't make me feel good when I do them. And I don't like keeping around the big, huge amounts of trash anyway. So I'm not doing empties anymore on my video either going the, forward. Now, the next one is one that I threw in here because I want to explain something to you. And that is a get ready with me with first impressions. And I, I'm not going to stop doing those, but I wanted to explain something to you about why you may not be seeing me and other YouTubers do a lot of these videos. When we as YouTubers have a video that is really successful, we wanna double down on that. If we have a video that is just absolutely bottoming out, we wanna avoid that like the plague because we get more viewers or more su subscribers from doing what we find is popular, doing the video that we find is popular. And so unfortunately, a get ready with me video, a chatty get ready with me video is not video that very is not a video that very many people watch. And that switch happened somewhere. I don't know where it happened because when YouTube first started out for beauty gurus, it was, okay, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna sit down on my bed, I'm gonna sit down in a chair, I'm gonna sit down on the floor, I'm gonna do my makeup and we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna tell you about how I feel about the products. Now it's switched to where people just don't, they just don't watch those. We see that video doing so poorly and we think, okay, I'm not gonna do another get ready with me for a long time. It is really hard for us as creators to watch one of our videos get so few views because number one, it doesn't bring more people into our channel and you know get successful. Number two, it makes us feel like crap because we've put a ton of time and a ton of effort into a specific video and it bombs and gets hardly any views. So if you're somebody that is hearing me and you love to see tutorials, watch that tutorial and try to watch it all the way through to the end even if it's just background noise and you you know you put it on you don't like it very much you don't like what's how it's going or the person's getting too wordy just let it play the rest of the way through if you do have time because that's going to tell the youtube algorithm that you do like that video so just a little fyi there the number one video that you will never see on my channel and i've never really done this for two reasons is a pr unboxing video here's my thinking on those there are so many people today that would love, if I held up a Charlotte Tilbury thing like what, what I just showed you, they would love to have that. And for you to open up a PR box full of Charlotte Tilbury, which by the way, this isn't PR, I bought this on my own. But if you were to open up a box full of Charlotte Tilbury PR on camera, just to show what you got and set it to the side and then they never see it on your channel again, how bad does that make that person feel? They would love to have that. For me, I want to make you feel good. That's what my channel is all about. I want you to go away from my channel feeling really good about makeup and about yourself. And so if I were to just sit down and show you what I got, I feel like a little bit of boasting is going on there. I do feel like it's neat to see what's new, but I feel like if I get it and it's new and it's something really good, 
I want to show you it in action for one thing and I also want to show you it in a really good review style where I can spend a lot of time on it. A person that is really good about this is Jen Phelps. She does her Sunday reviews on what she got through the week because she used to do mostly on Instagram and then came over to YouTube. So she does get a lot of PR, but you're going to see them always swatch. She's going to give you all of her thoughts about it. She's going to do comparisons. Jen does a fantastic job on how she shows her PR and absolutely no fault there for her. So yeah, that's the number one thing. You're never going to see me do a PR unboxing. I just don't, I don't feel like I want to show off and I don't enjoy watching them. Sometimes I get a little bit of anxiety because I feel like it's too much. How could one person ever, you know, even enjoy reviewing that much? Now, I bet you thought that I was also going to say sponsored. Let's talk just for a minute about a sponsored video. I don't feel like there's anything wrong with a sponsored video and I'll tell you why. When you watch a commercial on television, like the other day I was watching TV and Julia Roberts popped up and she was doing the Lancome C.S. La Vie fragrance, right? Charlie, Charlize Theron, she does J'adore perfume. She does that commercial too. How much money do you think that those movie stars got to be on that video? They were sponsored probably in the tens or hundreds of thousands to do that video. Now here we sit as small creators or medium creators or large creators, and this is our job. This is what we do for a living. And I know that you feel like everyone is so influenced by that monetary gain that they get from that. I would say that 90%, yes, there are the 10% that are the bad apples that will take a sponsorship on and do it, you know, and say whatever they want them to say in order to you know, get that money that they've been promised. But 90% of the beauty gurus here on YouTube that I know and that I watch will test that product out first. And if they don't like it, they'll end up turning down that sponsorship, even if they've already said that they would do it. I've done that several different times. You know, whether I'm doing it in exchange for money or whether I'm doing it in exchange for product, to me, it doesn't matter. If I love that product, I'm gonna, you know, yeah, it's sponsored in a way for product, but also getting monetary gain. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. If I was Julia Roberts, if I was Charlize Theron, I would be making a heck of a lot more money and you will not see unless they have a ton of followers your favorite youtuber that does a sponsored video is not making that much money they're not making a ton of money i know you think that they are but for doing a sponsored video they just aren't and so show them love because this is how they make money this is how they support their families and i'm fortunate enough to have a husband that works so i can be kind of choosy about what i do choose to sponsor so just be kind because Honestly, think about how many movie stars or how many stars that you know of that are on TV that are making tons and tons of money. How do they make it? They're sponsored. They are sponsored by that company. And I think that we all forget that. All those women, you see Charlotte, I see Charlotte Tilbury's commercials all the time on TV and she's got all these models around her. Do you think those models are doing it for kicks and giggles? No, they're doing it because they make money for being there. Just remember that if this is a YouTuber's job, like it is mine, their career, their job, their company, then know that being sponsored is the same as being in a movie and getting paid for being in a movie. This is a short movie. So I hope that makes sense. And I hope that if you don't agree with any of these, I don't care if you sound off down below, just be kind about it, to be respectful. Anything that you want to say can be said as long as it's in a respectful and kind manner, even if you're not agreeing with what I say. And I don't have a problem with that because I'm very opinionated myself. So let's be kind and respectful in the comments. Even if somebody does say something that we don't agree with, let's just, you know, agree to disagree or, you know, not say anything at all. Let me know which videos that you absolutely love to see on, on YouTubers channels. And let me know which videos that you cannot stand seeing on a YouTubers channel. I'd really like to hear that from you too, down in the comment section. All right, everybody, please come back around really soon in my next video. As we go out of here, I'll put up maybe an Amazon video right here. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.